Good to see you, darling. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. What of Oxenefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Look at you, Chewie. Good day, good day. Have you got a contract for me? I have requests that may or may not involve violence. Interested? One of our supplies. Just think of the reward while you work. Keep you motivated. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. See you later. Off we go! Run up the sail! Sing, my ravens. Yes. 
Survey the area, Sunan. See you, old friend. Have you been winning too? Echt. An alehouse. This must be it. Ah, Jim. Oh, it's just wrong. Come on, eh? You should tell me how to live it. Hey, good. Sigurd is not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. 
If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenophon's Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Asked about this lad, my friend. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Smells like a fish house. Good spot. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan, Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd. Has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, or he fall... He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Oh, Christ. 
a cup and lose some silver! Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hull, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenofortshire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd of the Hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. With me, Giedrich! Oh, what have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Don't time it! I can still fight these bastards! We keep our wits out the advantage! Ha! Ha! My turn! Soldiers are tight. Good lord, you fight well. Thank you for that. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd, to charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way, they'll be dead by supper. Tanned your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk with... Where is with... she? 
Fain Holt will know. Full K lives on his lands, but he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Basim, Aver, to horse! Off again, Aver, you and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman trained in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. I'm speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the northern way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then, the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand! Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat. to execute the prisoners. These subjects of the Lady Eadwin have betrayed their oaths to the Shire. Not true. Silence! They stand accused and are guilty of spreading calumny against our sainted Lady Eadwin and engaging in sedition and general disreputable acts. Big shite! Each shall be called to confess his perfidy. Confession grants the toad's death. Valiant confess earns a disgraceful death. Come after next. Don't divide the leaves in a guilty. Vain brat! I stand innocent! Do you confess to cravenly plotting to betray Lady Adrian? My father, his father, and his father's father all fought for Mercia. I have fought for Mercia. Now you would shackle us to the whoremonger of Wessex? This is a shaft, and you are an ass. Horrible! Execute the prisoners at once! Ah, rescue us! We can help! Get me out of here before they hide. Stay close. I'll help the others. Friend, get me out of here. I stand Put with Giedrich. Let's believe you. Giedrich sent me to find you. Let's go. Now. You'll regret this!
run safely over there. We fought with our weasley ultimate for years. Now his widow wants to pop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman, Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself, and for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned, I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead, but we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. Soldiers here now. Gidrets has cleared them all out. Well supplied, that's for certain. Well done, Captain. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Gidrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gidrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. <laughs> Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. 
He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle.
Mostra. No era tierras. What do you see, Sunan?
And here's Eivor. Ah, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me, your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another, because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did, as your brother, your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. We know of this woman. Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. <laughs> She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. Raise my hood here. Where is this woman? There will be a crypt or dungeon near the central church, I believe. Here's the monastery, St. Albanus. Hulka's held inside, somewhere well protected.
Could they have moved her? No. Through here. At long last. to this sanctuary. This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar. Our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your guard so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend. Take the key. And depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks. Perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The languages are known and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. 
Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god led me here, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slap of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. <laughs>